Okay, let us take a look at this uh, this question with the same kind of look as we did uh, earlier today. So, um, what do we do? Well, we have this idea where we have um, this cute little thing going on here. Ring the bell, win a prize. And, um, okay, so what's going on? So, at the beginning, we have... Um, at the beginning, we have no energy, right? And so what you want to do is you want to do the work that is put into the system, and that is the slamming here. That's the W, the work there. And uh, that will be a plus W. And when you do that, that is going to um, give you a certain amount of kinetic energy, right? Bam, it's going to go up. And so that's going to be our kinetic energy there. This energy is supposed to remain the same, unless we can have some accounting for that is um, coming out. And so what ends up happening is it goes up and up and up to the top. And when it gets to the top, it this kinetic energy is actually changed, not all of it, but some of it is changed into, um, into um, gravitational potential energy. And so some of it is like, you know, it's, it's down. It's, it's still going 10 meters per second. At the, I mean, sorry, one meter per second at the top, right? It's still got to go one meter per second at the top. And so um, it, a lot of it goes into gravitational, but it doesn't stop. It goes, ding, it hits the bell, right? But it has to hit the bell at one meter per second. During this same time going in H, um, it is actually going to lose some, um, some friction. Um, some friction will come off in the form, and you can you could show it like this. Right, as the as it go as it's going, we got a minus W, right? But if you think about this, there's another way to do it. Is you could also put it down here, is include it in the in the system, and it, it will be a W here. So these three things together are supposed to add up to the total. And so this is this is the total energy, and I'll put uh, equals E total. And so this is equal to the total, right? That's E total. And so that's the idea. And so this work right here is what's put in. We can actually skip this. We can actually skip this because we don't really need to know how fast it's going right there. Um, what we do need to know is the work. How hard does it need to hit it? That's the work. That work is the F applied times, um, times the distance that um, he hits it, and um, that lever is going to move 0.1 that distance there, that 0.1. And so that is going to be equal to three things. It's going to be equal to 1 half mv squared, and this is going to be um, 1 kilogram times uh, 1 half times 1 squared plus the mgh which is the mass times the gravity times the height right there and then plus the work done by friction and so the work done by friction this is um the work by the mallet is equal to the force applied times the distance but the work done by friction is going to be equal to friction um, times the height. So the distance is the height. And so over here, we can say this is plus FH. And so in order to solve this, we're going to take this and, and um, divide each side by D. That's a D. And then we'll scratch that out, and I get D right there. And so you should be able to solve that now. Um, the force will be equal to 1 half mv squared plus mgh plus the amount of friction times the h. By the way, that number is changeable. That number is the only number that changes with each time you restart the quiz, right? So there's only three choices. I think it's 0.1. 0.2, 0.3, and 0.4. Four choices. So there's four choices there. And then you divide this by the distance that it um, that is that one right there. 
And so um, there you have the uh, way you get the force. Um, so this is a different question. At what force will the velocity, at that force, what will the velocity of the puck be at the moment when it leaves the lever? That's when you have to do this. That's when you have to do that. You have to do that after. So um, that's that by itself. Whoosh, the work that you put in will be equal to, so you know this will be basically the work, which is equal to force applied times that distance will be equal to 1 half mv squared. And then you solve for this v. This is the v. I guess you could call it v initial. So this one is v final. And the v final here is vf should be equal to 1 meter per second. Because it says here, um, somewhere on there, it says it has to be going at least 1 meter per second to actually ding the bell. So um, anyways, let's see if, uh, if that helps you out. And if you can get the right answer on that now, uh, I think when I did this quiz originally, um, somewhere in here, I think it was the height. I called the height 0.5, and it's not. The height is 5 meters. I think that's what I did, and it changed the decimal. So if you tried to do this earlier and you couldn't get it, it might have been my fault. I apologize. So anyways, um, let's see if this one works this time, and hopefully I didn't make any more mistakes. So, um, okay, have at it and see what you can do and let me know how it goes.